Today, for our topic, I'll be talking about Molech. Now we're going to be looking at who was Molech. Molech is a deity found in the Old Testament. He is a fire god of the children of Ammon and identical with the Moabite Shemu. So Mo Molech and Shemu was the same god, but uh, they were worshipped by different people. The Ammon worshipped Molech and the Shemu worshipped the same god. It just had a different name. His face was a calf and his hands were like men. They were stretched out to receive something. And what his hands were stretched out to receive was children. What uh, the, the Moabites, the Canaanites, and all of these people did, they did child they did child sacrifice and what they would do would they put uh the child into Molech and it will be burnt. So Molech was basically a oven. They will put the child into the oven and it will be burned. And to prevent the parent from hearing the child screaming or the child crying, they would beat drums. So this is one of one of the reasons why um when God warned the children of Israel saying when you get into the land, do not worship the gods of the Canaanite, the Amorite, the Pest you know, all these ites and bites because this is one of the things that this was one of the many gods that they serve. And we're gonna be a uh, looking at maybe this week, next week or sometime in the future, we're going to be looking at the gods of the children of the Ammon, the Moabites, and all these different gods, the Canaanites. Well, uh, Mo Molech was one of the gods that they worship, and Molech was uh, the god that they used the children sacrifice. So this was one of the reasons, one of the many reasons why God warned the children of Israel that they were not supposed to do that. Now we're going to be moving on. We're going to be looking at Leviticus 20 verses 1 to 5. I'm actually going to be reading it. So I'll be reading from verses 1, Leviticus 20, verses 1, and I'll read until verses 5. I think I only got verses 2 and 3. I skipped 4 and 5, so I'll read the whole thing. It says it is written in Leviticus 20, verses 1. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, 2. Again, you shall say to the children of Israel, Whoever of the children of Israel are the strangers who dwell in Israel, who gives any of his descendants to Molech, he will surely be put to death. The people of the land shall stone him with stones. 3. I will set my face against that man, and I will cut him off from the people, because he has given some of his descendants to Molech, to defile my sanctuary and profane my holy name. 4. And if the people of the land should anyway hide their eyes from the man who has given some of his descendants to Molech, and they do not kill him, five, then I will set my face against that man and against his family, and I will cut him off from his people, and I and all who prostitute themselves with him and commit harlotry with Molech. So God was very clear in the Old Testament to the children of Israel, not only to the children of Israel, that anyone that decided that they wanted to go live in Israel, the rules applied to uh, the children of Israel and the sojourners. So the, reply, the rule replied for anyone that came under the banner of uh, the children of Israel. They were specifically not to do that. And even if they didn't, that person penalty was dead and even God said even if you turned your back and you didn't look <clears throat> and you didn't kill that person because of what they did because of, uh, they serve in the, the God of Molech not only God said that I will not only God said I will deal with that man he said I will deal not only with that man but I will deal with his descendants so we see the generation, like it says in um, Exodus 20, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. And it goes down to the third and fourth generation to them that hate me. So now we're going to be looking at King Solomon. Because King Solomon did the same thing. That's uh, one of the reasons why King Solomon's kingdom was taken. But it wasn't taken from him. It was taken from his son. Now we're going to be looking at King Solomon. And we are going to be reading First Kings. 11 
verses 1 to 8. Now we're going to be reading 1 Kings 11 verses 1 to 8. Now I'm going to be reading 1 Kings 11 verses 1 to verses 8. It says, is it written? Solomon's heart turned away from the Lord, verses 1. But King Solomon loved many foreign women, as well as the daughters of Pharaoh, women of the Moabite, the Ammonite, the Edomite, the Sodanite, and the Hittites. Forgive me, I probably said some of those names wrong, but we're going to be moving on. Number two, from the nation of whom the Lord had said to the children of Israel, you shall not intermarry with them, nor they with you. Surely they will turn away your hearts after their God. Solomon cling to these in love. And he had 700 wives princesses and 300 concubines and his wife turned away his heart for for it was so when Solomon was old that his wives turned his heart after other gods and his heart was not loyal to the Lord his God and was the heart of as his the heart of his father David five for Solomon went after Asherah the goddess of the the um, I'm going to skip that word. And and after Milcom, the abomination of the Ammonites. 6. Solomon did evil in the sight of the Lord and did not fully follow the Lord as his father David. 7. Then Solomon built high places for Shemosh, the abomination of Moab, and the high and on the hill that is in the east of Jerusalem for Molag, the abomination god of the Ammon. 8. And he did likewise for all his foreign wives, for whom born incest and sacrifice to their gods. 9. I'm going to read 9 and I'm going to finish. So the Lord became angry with Solomon because his heart had turned from the Lord God of Israel who appear to him twice so solomon did a lot of things there no, the first mistake solomon did was solomon married women that he was not supposed to marry and that could be a man's downfall when he married women that he was not supposed to be married to and that could be a woman's downfall too the first thing was the bible said in um first kings 11 but king solomon loved many foreign women as the daughters of Pharaoh, the women of the Moabite. Now Solomon, Solomon liked all these women, and th th it was God told them they were not to in to intermarry with these people because they were gonna turn your turn your hearts against the Lord, and He didn't listen. And oftentimes, too, in our lives, we think that oh, I'm a Christian, I'm gonna go marry somebody that's not saved, and I'm gonna win that person for Christ. But what happens is, it doesn't happen like that. What happens is that person turns your heart away from God. It turns your heart away from the things of God. It happens. That's why God says, "Be not unequally yoked," because if you're saved and you go marry somebody that's unsafe, you're not gonna win that person. Chances are, instead of you winning that person, chances are that person is going to turn you slowly but surely. They're going to turn your way away from God. So that's why God says you marry the children of Israel. And that's what Solomon did. And then when he got old, when he got old, they turned they turn um they turned him against the um turned him against his god and the bible said that god appeared unto him twice and we know that solomon was the wisest man on the earth he got riches wisdom all those things he got from god but when he got old when he got old the women turned him away from the lord his god and as a result of that he built he, he he built all those idols in israel especially he built them in jerusalem and and then he caused the children of israel to worship them and you see he built an um he built he built um molech and molech was the god that they offered a ritual for the children 
So Solomon, Solomon was just in disobedience because number one, he married who he was not supposed to marry. And when you marry people that you're not supposed to marry, they turn your heart against God. Just like Solomon, maybe they wouldn't turn your heart against God when you're younger, but when you're older, they swayed you and they turn you. And then the God that you serve, the God that gives you all the riches, the wealth, and the glory, you turn your back on him because you married wrong. You marry people that God specifically told you not to marry. And so that is, and today that is, um, this is it for me with um, the talking about the Molech. Molech was the God that looked like a, um, that looked like a ram, but it was an oven. And they did the ritual of the children with it. That's why God warned the children of Israel. When you go into the land of Canaan, not to take up the practices of the people in the land. Because that's what they worship. Molech was one of the many gods that the Ammonites, the Moabites, and all these other uh, people that were not the children of Israel worshipped. 